Number 24, Kofi Kobe Bryant may have retired from the NBA, but after investing most of his energies in becoming one of the world's best basketball players, he's now investing his time and his money in the VC Big Leagues. Bryant, who just turned 38, unveiled a $100 million venture capital fund Monday for investing in technology, media, and data companies. Wall Street Journal financial editor Dennis Berman reports that Bryant is partnering with 43-year-old Jeff Stiebel. According to Berman, Stiebel's background includes a career in brain research and founding and building tech companies. The $100 million is coming from the two men who expect they will make their investments over the next few years. They aren't seeking outside investors yet. Their current investments include Derek Jeter-founded sports media site The Players' Tribune, which Bryant has also written for, legal services company LegalZoom, and a home juicing company called Juicero. They also have made a few investments that remain confidential. Of course, Bryant isn't the first retired or active professional athlete to make a foray into the investment world. In fact, many have failed. Former baseball pitcher Kurt Schilling, for example, launched a video game company and raised money with the help of Rhode Island government agencies. The company filed for bankruptcy in 2012. And NFL legend John Elway lost $15 million in a Ponzi scheme orchestrated by hedge fund manager Sean Mueller. However, Elway has had success with car dealerships and other businesses and is a top executive with the Denver Broncos. That said, another Laker legend, Magic Johnson, has boosted his net worth into the hundreds of millions of dollars since leaving the game in 1991, thanks in large part to partnerships with iconic brands such as Burger King and Starbucks, building businesses such as specially branded Magic Johnson movie theaters in overlooked urban areas. His recent investments include a stake in the Los Angeles Dodgers. Though Bryant is about as competitive as athletes come, he says that one of his main goals, if you believe him, is not necessarily going head-to-head -head with other athletes who have their own ventures, including Carmelo Anthony and his longtime rival, former teammate Shaquille O'Neal. The new firm, called Bryant Stiebel, will be headquartered in the Los Angeles area.